Hey everyone, welcome back. As always, this is Eric Brown, your Beverly Hills real estate agent, and I've got a treat for you today. I would like to introduce a friend of mine, Trent Clark of Upper Echelon, who's gonna talk all about his business and why it's super interesting, particularly here in the Beverly Hills and Los Angeles area. So Trent, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me, and it's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So tell us a bit about Upper Echelon. So Upper Echelon, we are custom clothiers, and so I strictly design and create custom wardrobes for, I, I like to say successful gentlemen. Um, I can make garments for, for ladies, but that has not been my niche for the 29 years that I've been in the business. And so we create and design the custom wardrobes. I bring everything to my clients, offices or to the homes. Um, we'll have you know, swatch books that they can look through and we, you know, we pick it, we design it, and I send them to my manufacturers. They make it for me. I have different levels of manufacturing. And once the garment is made, they ship it back to me. And then I go and I do a fitting at my client's offices. Or to them. Can you talk about what a discerning gentleman gets to experience as they're going through the fitting process? So there's a lot. I mean, just, I think a lot of gentlemen are really amazed with the amount of measurements that are taken. And so just that alone kind of blows their mind. And they might even think, you know, the initial meeting is gonna be like, for example, I had a, a client just last month. And so he he put aside and allotted about 30 minutes for us to meet. And this was our first time meeting and he was actually getting a complete outfit for him and his son. And so there's no way you can do that in 30 minutes with all the measurements that I take. It's very detailed. It is a true custom garment, which means everything is cut individually to that client's, that they will have their own paper pattern, right? So therefore there's a lot of things and nuances that I have to pay attention to. And so that's, that, that's one of the main things. And then it's the education that I will give my clients. Um, it, it's not, it's about a, a feeling. It's not about me like just selling clothing. It's about getting to know them. So right, so we're gonna have to take some time just to get to know each other and to get to know what they wear on a daily basis, what they wear after hours, what they wear on the weekends. Because my my ultimate goal is to be once again their trusted wardrobe advisor, where I'm dressing them every single day, mm -hmm. right? And so it's it's a lot that goes into it, and. And that's really the, the, the charm of it. And just the education of like, don't wear a certain color between Memorial Day. White, for example. Don't wear white between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Right. Some people already know that, but you'll be surprised. A lot of gentlemen don't know these little, what the book says, and that's fine. It's my job to tell them what's, what the book actually says. And now if they want to abide by those rules, that's fine if they're like, Trent, I don't care, I like what I like, I'm doing what I like, and then that's it. So as long as I discharge my responsibility as their clothier, then it's all good. And the cool part, at least that I experienced, is your passion shows so much in the work that you do. So I have to ask, like, what got you into the business, as you said, decades ago? So that, I, I've always just, even as a little kid, I've always been into my image and my look. So some might say that, you know, who is this kid that's wearing a suit for no reason? <laughs> <laughs> right? That was me. And because I was just always into it. And so just to make the story shorter, I, I was a, a recruiter in the early 90s. I didn't want to do that anymore. Then I start working part-time as a merchandiser for Procter & Gamble. They wanted me to come on full time. I knew I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. So some reason I was down in Orange County. I met these gentlemen that they were branching off and they were starting their own custom clothing firm. And they approached me that once again, that day I had on a suit, it was not custom, nothing near custom, but I thought I still looked good. And they approached me and they were like, we're branching off. You look like you would be someone that we would like to, to work with us. And so at that time, I had to make a decision, Procter & Gamble full time, which was a nice, cushy job, benefits, company car, you know, et cetera, or go work for these gentlemen where I had no experience. Besides selling shoes, I sold shoes. 
um, you know, through, during high school and college, but never sold clothing, didn't have the clientele. And so, but one thing that I always remember that people would always say, like growing up, is like, follow your passion. You mentioned that passion. Follow your passion and don't worry about the money. And so I wasn't married at the time. I didn't have any kids at the time. And so I figured if I'm really gonna be able to take this risk, that would be the, the proper time to do it. And so obviously that's what I elected and stayed with them for a few years and then went on and did my own thing. That's great. What would you say of your other customers that they like the most? When you get feedback from people, what is it that they say that you say, ah, okay, that's great. <laughs> You know, it's one of those things that people, they say you should never say like you have the best service because everyone should have the best service. But service is one of the things, since I do come to their offices or to their homes, I've been, like even this morning, I was at a client's home at 7.30 in the morning uh, because that's the only time that he could meet today and we have to do it today. I've been at somebody's house at, you know, one o'clock in the morning. So service is a part of it. Another thing that really that I'm known for, and I'm, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with right the, the X's and O's per, per se of clothing, but it's they really rely on me. If they say call them in six months because they know that they're going to need an outfit for a certain event, right? They're relying on me to make that call in order to get that process started as, because, and take that off of their plate because they're very busy individuals and if we left it up to them, they're gonna miss that deadline and we're not gonna have anything to wear for that special event. Mm -hmm. So just being very meticulous, I mean, that's another thing about me, Eric. I've always been, I mean, if I showed you my calendar or my phone, it, it has so many things on it. <laughs> but I need that in order to help me, you know, be, be diligent and to be organized enough to make sure that all my clients are organized. That's great. Now with that, of course, depending on what it is that's being made, I'm sure there's a turnaround time. There's a standard yes. of what people look for. So what might be some benchmarks? So, you know, things have changed a little bit after COVID, but I still quote six to eight weeks for, for garments. So if it's a suit and you want a suit and a shirt, I'm quoting six to eight weeks. More than likely, it's gonna come in a little bit quicker than that, but I still like to quote six to eight just to cover myself, right? It's like under problems, right? That, that whole deal. Um, if it's just for shirts, then we're looking probably like five weeks. And then accessories, obviously, I can get that to somebody within that nice week if they just want accessories. Sounds great. Um, any big goals that Upper Echelon has as we move forward in the subsequent months and, <laughs> and beyond? Uh, you know, my goal, is always just to, to meet new individuals, right? If, if, if I'm doing that, then I'm going to meet all those other goals that I have for upper echelon. So just to be very, very granular, that's what it is. And then I remember just when I worked for that other company and one of the things that he, we were training and he was like, what do you guys do for a living? And all of us, we were raising our hands and like, we sell clothing, we're clothiers. And he's like, eh, eh, you're wrong, you're wrong. This is all you do every day is to introduce yourself to people. And if you do that, right, you'll meet enough people to have the longevity in, in this industry. Makes total sense. And that segues really well. So how can people get in touch with you if they have questions, they have wardrobe concerns, they might want to utilize your services? Yes. For me, I mean, email is always, great because I, I will check my email, but a phone call is really necessary, right? At some point, we're gonna have to have that conversation. So phone calls would be the, that's the best way for them to get to know me. And so we can both ascertain if we have a match. That makes sense. So of course, as you can see here, we've got all of Trent and Upper Echelon's contact information. Please touch base if you have any questions and you would like that confidence and want to look your best. So Trent, thanks so much for coming on, Thank my friend. You. Thank you so much. As always, this is Eric Brown, your Beverly Hills real estate agent, sharing with you some of the best and brightest businesses that we have here in the Los Angeles area. Thanks for tuning in.